Hey, check this out. There's a new one-of-a-kind chopper at the St. Pete Clearwater Airport. New custom motorcycle will showcase images of locations around the St. Pete and Clearwater area. Built by the founder of Orange County Choppers himself. Steve and I have known each other for 30 years, I think it's been, something like that. I don't say 30. Long time. <laughs> and uh, Steve is the president and CEO of Visit St. Pete Clearwater, which is the marketing agency for Pinellas County. And Pinell having been here as many years as I have, Pinellas County is a very formidable tourist destination within the state of Florida. We have sugary white sand beaches. We have three or four beaches that have been in the top 10 and even number one on TripAdvisor and Dr. Beach. And so we wanted you to come and talk about what would be important to you as we build this bike that's going to go in PIE, the St. Pete Clearwater yep. Airport. We want the bike to be representative of the whole county, not just, you know, Orange County Choppers. The bike is going to be very cool, but it's going to have to have elements that kind of represent everything that's important to you. And so, you know, Paul's going to have to be the guy to pull it off. And we wanted to hear from you, you know, what are those things that are really key to feature? touched upon it just a little bit earlier. I mean, Tarpon Springs is an example. Greek history, fishing village, sponge docks, you know, and it's very unique. And then, so you have that, and then you look at something like a go to Paso Grill, you know, where you've got the beach area, but yeah. yet you've got, you know, historic district that's there. You've got the unique shops that are going on that's there. So yeah, I, I look at that. I look at Gulfport. That's cool. Yeah, you know, but it's all these little things. Mm -hmm. I, I say little, but the reality is they're, they're unique things to our communities okay. that make it a really cool. Hey, man, I didn't know that that happened or that existed. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got new things that you know, like the pier in downtown St. Pete right, right now. You know, what was the old pier and people remember the inverted pyramid, and now they got this really cool thing with the tiki bar that's there. Um, you think about some of the, the museums that we have, the ones that impress me are the, like the glass museums. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know you can do stuff like that with glass. Yeah. You know, and, the, and whether it's Chihuly or the Imagine Museum mm -hmm. or even just uh, the Morian Art Center, you know, as well. So you've got that element yeah. that you throw in there. So you know, I think it's all of those little things. And, and the other thing I don't want to leave outside so think about the bike trails that we have or the the water trails that we have. So you're going like Whedon Island, mm -hmm. uh, going through there, or going down to Fort DeSoto. So you're kayaking, you're there with, uh, you could be there with manatees, you could be there with Dolphin. dolphins. Yeah. yeah, so again, it's it's the wildlife aspect to it. That's a lot that you just talked oh, yeah. about, but it's all cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? All that stuff, little place stuff like that, I think that's great, you know? But I think that, I really think that you're gonna capture a lot of that in paint. And to be totally honest with you, paint draws people. People will get up close with their cameras and try yeah, to Yeah, that's what they shoot. Yeah, that's yeah, what they it's, it's important. Yeah. Paul's amazing at sprinkling that stuff in there. I think it'll, it, you, you integrate all that together with some of the imagery that the viewers here probably don't know much about yet. And they're gonna find out more quickly through this. But those people that come to St. Pete, they know what that's all about. St. Pete Clearwater, is known for so many things to do. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gonna be important to showcase all of that or as much of it as we possibly can. That's the idea and hopefully we can film that unveil here pretty soon and its final resting place be in the baggage claim area of the St. Pete Clearwater Airport. And uh, next to that will be a motorcycle representing the Harley Davidson dealership here. Probably 80% of the people that get off that plane will take a picture with that. Oh yeah. But, but around that one, yeah. yep. guaranteed. Yep. Good stuff, guys. Yeah. Steve, appreciate you, man. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Paul? Appreciate Good it. Good seeing you. All right. As far as the, the inspiration, uh, where it came from. I think it was a combination of people, you know, Jim, Keith, of course, Bert, uh, myself, 
And uh, I think that it's, it's pretty cool that we're able to display there, that they're letting us display there. Uh, we have two bikes, one of my bikes that I built, and we customize it specifically for the airport. At Visit St. Pete Clearwater, you know, the word is when we were started talking about this project uh, was, wait a minute, we're doing what? And then it quickly turned into, wow, this is a unique opportunity about this great, you know, community that we have here and that you can visit. So right now what we're trying to do is before we get to the airport, we really don't know how busy it's going to be over there. It's going in the uh, St. Petersburg Clearwater baggage claim area. Um, I don't know the flight schedules for today. It's a Monday, hopefully it's somewhat slow. But the idea is to have everything wired here, have all the TV harnesses put in, have all the electronics that we need installed over here. So when we get over there, it's gonna be a pretty quick install. Uh, it's a bike that we had uh, built uh, a while ago. And uh, you know, we sat down with Keith and we wanted to make it like a tourism it almost looks like postcards of all the different things that are available uh, in Clearwater and St. Pete. I've never displayed in an airport, but I think that, uh, you know, when you have uh, uh, over two million people uh, going through the airport, uh, you, you know, it's kind of like what better advertisement could you have? And you know, everything, the, the bike represents the restaurant and also Orange County Choppers, but uh, I think the display is going to bring a lot of people to the area, not just the restaurant, but to the area. Uh, one of the bikes that's on display is actually a stock Harley Davidson that's been completely modified by Paul Seniors. It's been awesome to watch Paul's collaboration with Harley Davidson grow even more. We're gonna have a cool video loop. Uh, some of the show that you're watching now will be all the time aired on the TVs that are on the display behind me here. Um, and then we've got some cool advertising for both the county, Visit St. Pete Clearwater, uh, for Burt's Barracuda Harley-Davidson, and of course, OCC Roadhouse. So we've got some, some interesting video that'll play on a loop there. And we wanna make sure that we can tie into it wirelessly, change it whenever we need to. But this exercise right now is all about preparation and getting ready to go drop it in the airport as quick as we can. So we're about done here. We got about 10 more minutes and we're gonna get on the road. having a little difficulty with the height. The bike that I uh, did for Harley, I put eight hangers in a big sissy bar so we don't have the clearance uh, at the doorway here. So um, we're just trying to figure it out right now. One of the biggest challenges of putting this together from the marketing team's perspective was gathering all of the imagery for the display and for the motorcycle. The vision from the beginning was to create something that showcased all the beautiful places around Pinellas County and especially uh, St. Pete and Clearwater. I think we really achieved that. We've got all kinds of stuff on there. We've got the pier, we've got the Dolly Museum. So it's been really cool. Oh, this is definitely on a career bucket list item for me. I mean, there's no other airport in the, in the nation, maybe even in the world that has something like this on display. <laughs> Come on, let's talk. So what do I do, Paul? <laughs> Name's Tim Wolf. Business, the welding shop here in Clearwater, Florida. The hardest part about putting the display together was probably uh, the size. How heavy is the display? I'd say close to a thousand pounds. <laughs> Come on. Get... Senior here did all the work in the air conditioning. I did. Put the bike together, reassembled it, did all the fun stuff. <laughs> and I am all sweaty having to move the bike onto the lift. So thanks for that. 
Yeah. But uh, it was a you bear. You did a good job. It was a bear. So we got it done. I think it looks great. I'm now, done. tomorrow, the plan is uh, we're going to clean it up tonight, get the video monitors working for the reveal tomorrow morning. I'm excited about that. I think that's going to be fun. And The whole thing looks yeah. great. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just people are gathering around already and there's nobody here. Right, right, you know, right. I think right. he's got 15 flights coming in tonight. Right. There'll be thousands of people coming right, through right, here. Right. Oh, I think the display is going to be received fantastic. I think that anybody who comes into baggage claim is going to stop and marvel at how beautiful this bike is and the tribute that it pays to our destination. I can't think of a display like this even in the state of Florida, um, especially at an airport. You know, I also think that it combines a pastime, you know, with people ro riding the motorcycles and a whole other audience and combining that with an attraction as well as an entertainment venue. Good morning, everyone. My name is Keith Overton. I own OCC Roadhouse. Today, we're here to unveil a special display for the PIE St. Pete Clearwater Airport. There's five organizations involved in this. I want to mention them all. Steve Hayes is here from Visit St. Pete Clearwater. We wanted to showcase the destination and its many tourism attributes, and we're going to have Steve come up. We have OCC Choppers, Orange County Choppers. Paul Sr.'s here. Big round for him. We have my partner in crime here, Mr. Burt King. Burt owns the campus that OCC Roadhouse is on, uh, thanks to St. Pete Clearwater Airport. Uh, but we're super, super pleased to be here. We're honored to be a part of this great destination. Thank all of you for coming out today to be a part of the reveal. Thank all of you for being part of Pinellas County Tourism. Hi, I'm Burt King, own Burt's Barracuda Harley Davidson, and also the founder of Burt's Salute to America. It's a foundation that this particular motorcycle will be given away and we're raffling it off. So please get on there, buy some raffles. And I just want to thank everybody in first responders. I want to thank the military and anybody that's ever served on any branch. I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. One, two, three. There it is. Oh, the reaction is nothing short of fantastic. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of artwork that pays tribute to the destination. You know, partnering with the motorcycle community, um, I think is a unique opportunity. Um, let them know all the great places you can ride within Pinellas County. Again, you could headquarter here, and there are so many places you, you can go, um, but it's a matter of getting to them and working with the folks at um, Orange County Choppers and the Roadhouse and with uh, Bert and his team, I think gives us that opportunity. Yeah. 